Welcome back to Aviation Hub. Let's dive into today's biggest aviation stories. Up, a major airline is on the verge of shutting down due to financial troubles. Meanwhile, the Airbus A321 XLR is facing delays at a key airline, and Korean Air has officially confirmed a massive aircraft order. Let's break it all down. Starting with Korean Air, they've just finalized a massive deal with Boeing. The airline had initially announced its intent to order new aircraft during the 2024 for Farnborough Air Show, but now it's official. The order includes 20 Boeing 777X jets and 20 high-capacity Boeing 787-10s, with an option for 10 more Dreamliners. That brings the total potential order to 30 aircraft, valued at a staggering $32 billion USD. This deal couldn't come at a more critical time. Korean Air is in the process of fully integrating Asiana Airlines, a move that will reshape the South Korean aviation market. The merger means will see fleet expansions, rebranding, employee restructuring, and operational changes, making Korean Air one of the largest airline groups in Asia. Interestingly, the airline has also committed to the Airbus A350, an aircraft previously exclusive to Asiana. By adding more A350s to their fleet, Korean Air is making sure the transition between the two airlines is as smooth as possible. But not every airline is celebrating right now. Over at Wizz Air, delays in the delivery of their highly anticipated Airbus A321 XLR have thrown their launch plans into chaos. The airline originally planned to receive its first XLR in March, with a debut on the London to Jeddah route. But now, delivery has been pushed back to April 10th, forcing them to adjust schedules. In the meantime, they'll use the A321LR to operate the route, even tweaking passenger loads to compensate for the shorter range. The A321XLR was introduced in 2019 as the perfect middle-of-the-market aircraft, designed to replace older Boeing 757s and unlock long-haul routes for narrow-body aircraft. Airlines were excited because it offered extended range, fuel efficiency, and high passenger capacity, all in a single-aisle aircraft. But persistent delays, much like what Boeing has been facing with the 777X, are proving to be frustrating for operators. Despite these setbacks, the XLR is still set to redefine transatlantic travel, allowing airlines like Wizz Air to expand long-haul services without wide-body aircraft. Now on to some troubling news. Financial turmoil is threatening the survival of an airline. Air Mauritius is struggling to stay in the air, facing increasing financial pressure after years of mismanagement. While the airline previously entered voluntary administration in 2020, its current leadership admits that many of the decisions made back then backfired. One of the biggest mistakes? Holding on to older, less efficient aircraft while phasing out newer planes. On top of that, poor route planning, rising operational costs, and questionable leadership decisions have led to mounting losses. Today, Air Mauritius operates just 12 aircraft, including four Airbus A350-900s, a jet they now believe they ordered in excess. While the A350 is a fantastic aircraft, the airline simply can't sustain the costs associated with operating too many of them. The road ahead for Air Mauritius is uncertain. Upper management is aware of the crisis and they're trying to navigate through it. But will it be enough to save the airline? That remains to be seen. That wraps up today's aviation recap. If you found this update helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from Aviation Hub. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, especially about Korean Air's massive Boeing order and the struggles of Air Mauritius. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.